Frida Kahlo, 1907 to 1954. She lived to be only 47 years old. Her father was German and her mother was Mexican. As a child, she had polio, rendering her right leg shorter and thinner than her left leg. At 18, she was involved in a terrible bus accident. An oncoming bus slammed into the one that she was on and one of the guardrails inside the bus crushed her pelvis and several vertebrae. She suffered from the pain from that for the rest of her life and was in a lot of pain and suffered a great deal. In 1929, at the age of 22, she met Diego Rivera, who was 20 years her senior, and they married. But after a few years, they both went their separate ways, as their relationship was mostly full of infidelities. However, they remarried again in 1940. In 1930, she moved to San Francisco with Diego, who had some projects in painting murals in San Francisco. Then on to Detroit, where Diego had some additional work. And she described her life as terror, suffering, and a lot of pain. She received some care at the Henry Ford Hospital there, and there's one painting which depicts that incident. Then in 1934, she moved back to Mexico City and painted quite a few pieces, separating from Diego finally. Edward J. Robinson, the actor, purchased four of her paintings for $800 and she began to sell more and more work. Andre Breton of the Surrealists described her as a ribbon around a bomb. 1939, she went to Paris, divorced in 1939, and Frida thought Surrealists were cuckoo and could not stand them anymore, despite the fact that they thought she was the greatest. In 1943, she accepted a teaching position at the National School of Painting in Mexico and continued to paint and sell work. However, she had to move back to her home, which was called the Casa Azul, where she had grown up and instructed students from there. In 1953, there was an exhibition at the Contemporary Art Gallery in Mexico where she arrived in an ambulance on a stretcher and had her four poster beds set up in the gallery where she sat there and attended to her admirers. In total, she produced about 150 to 200 paintings and people described her as a naive surrealist. Her paintings are described as being sexual, that there is a cultural identity, there is a female subjectivity, a focus on power, and the politics of communism, as she was very much in favor of communism for the purpose of peace. Had a relationship with Leo Trotsky at one point, a year before he was murdered or assassinated, and stayed a loyal communist her entire life. This has been another Naked Artist Exposure video. I thank you for watching, and hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll continue to make some more of these. I thank you very much.